Hey, how is it going? This is Shadi Ahmed from Oklahoma City University to talk, to talk about the use of the interface learning paradigm. So in science in, and engineering, we are often challenged or faced by multi-component, multi-physics, and multi-scale systems, or what we call multi-X systems. So in order to address this type of problems, we extend the divide and conquer philosophy to divide, compute, merge, and conquer. In other words, what we do, we can do multi-fidelity decomposition and use our computational resources to resolve or address each part or component individually. Then we merge and bridge these islands to finally achieve our end goal, which in this case is represented by the digital twin uh, technology or digital twinning. So problem is that when we do this multi-fidelity uh, computation, the low fidelity part might compromise your overall framework because you know a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. We try to fix or mitigate this issue by the introduction of hybrid physics-based and data-driven interface learning approaches. And in this short video, I will just show some cases where we have been able to do this. In our project, we do demonstrate the coupling between full and reduced order models or FOM and ROM for short. This case corresponds to a situation with zonal heterogeneity or having multiple zones or components with different physical properties. In this case, we do demonstrate the foam-rom coupling for a situation of different physics. This is the log exchange problem or Marseille flow problem, where we initially have a fluid with different temperatures on the left and right, separated by a wall or a, a barrier. Then when we remove this barrier, the temperature difference resulting in different densities will cause these patterns of flow and mixing. So here we have thermal and the fluid flow effects or mechanisms that we need to take care of. Finally, we, we also show the utility of interface learning to couple micro and the macro scale models. In particular, we assume that we need to, we need to couple a lattice Boltzmann solver with a finite different solver. Of course, this was just a brief overview of the project and a link to a longer presentation or video is attached in the description. Finally, I look forward to discussing this with you live in, the, in our session or by email if you prefer so. Enjoy your time. Thank you.